morning from a sunny day. As you understand, uh, as you recognize, I'm inside of the car, uh, but this time not to take the video, this time I'm driving the car. That's why my eyes on the road. Uh, the roads of a big part of the Balkans are quite narrow. Hence, do your best to keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the, on the, on the rub, rub, on the, here. Oh, I forgot the name. Anyway, you understand what I mean. Uh, a big part of the roads has, has turnings, very sharp turnings. Uh, some of the drivers, they are trying to cross from, from inside or uh, they are making the line by in between. Uh, which can cause the dangers hands be careful especially on the turns be careful and even animals not cats or dogs only uh, horses uh, calls donkeys sheep. it's possible to face with them when I was uh, driving to the border uh, one of the truck was trying to see the brand of the, my lights my back lights and he was driving so close by and when I turn turn to Road and I saw uh -oh, a group of the sheep there. It was just 10 seconds action actually. I, I used the running indicators, used the brake, and think that nobody was on the other lane. I just uh, crossed, crossed uh, side, not inside, cross side of the of the sheep. And but this type of the dangers are very easy to, to experience in, in Montenegro, especially. Uh, uh, even once when I was coming from Pogorsa, from the from the old road, uh, suddenly a horse jumped to the road, and it was just a few, you know, ten seconds action. You 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 see your life like a movie in front of your eyes. Hence, be careful, keep your eyes and concentration on the road, and focus on the road. Ignore everything. Um, Normally there is there is uh, a small city of the Bosna. It's approximately 90 kilometers to my home, Trebinje. Uh, I was planning to go to Trebinje for shopping. Uh, it's um, some items are quite cheaper than Montenegro. There, four times time I go to there. I was planning to go to Trebinje, but uh, if you are following the blog and the uh, vlog, uh, I had a bit tough days. Uh, the attack of the cat on the garden by something an eagle or a dog still I don't know uh, his nursery period waking up every two hours petting feeding and blah blah pay, paying attention to him and disappearing of the Petra all those things make me tired my mind is tired actually I need a break very badly and uh, it was in my mind since a while to go to to go to uh, Mostar, but I was I was always postponing because of you know Corona um, measures, bans, intensity and international travel bans, closure of the borders, etc. Hence I postponed, and uh, I thought I need a break. I I really need a break, and I said okay. Normally uh, the Trebinje is 90 kilometers and Mostar is 190 kilometers. Uh, no, 178. I'm sorry, 178 kilometers to my home, and I said, why not me? And I said, just do it, just do it. And now I'm on my way to Mostar. Uh, there's an agreement signed by and between Turkish government and Bosnian government, as of Turkish citizens are allowed to travel to Bosnia with ID card, starting from today. Uh, today uh, I used my passport uh, still um, and I, also I had a surprise normal I was using the, another border but this time uh, they were inside of the same same box actually same hut uh, normally the Montenegrin border police took my documents and he, he stamped my passport and he gave to the other uh, the Bosnian Bosnian Poli uh, border police and I, I surprised actually never see this normally you know you cross on the on the road you cross one of the border and you go for a while a distance and then enter the other country but here they are inside of the same hut it was surprise ouch oh the fox uh, yeah the road 
about driving in in Balkans in Montenegro. Uh, most the police are using portable radars to to check the speed of the cars. Hence, uh, be careful with the speeding. Uh, keep your lights on all the time. Uh, it's mandatory in Montenegro. And pay attention to the road and respect to do to the regulations. Actually, uh, if you don't have opportunity to take special support from someone, but still even even you are able to take this, pay attention to the. To the population civilization wherever you live and respect you know just respect to others respect the regulations respect to the country wherever you are we have enough headache from respectless people so just respect and just do it and now I'm out of service today and tomorrow I will have more fun in the garden um, neighbors said that uh, on Friday it will be rainy, hence tomorrow I must collect the grapes to be able to make the rakia, traditional alcohol of the Balkans. And uh, my opposite side neighbor thing to him, he said that uh, I can use his, his um, cooking, they say cooking uh, apparat. Normally I don't have that one. And I will use his, his apparat to boil my rakia. But first of all, tomorrow I need to cut them, clean, wash them, them, uh, put, um, mash them, and you know it's it's a fair actually. Tomorrow I will take an individual video when I start to make the harvesting of the grapes. And even my next door neighbor, he said that normally he's not here. He moved to Sweden back, and uh, he said that he's not here and just enjoy with the grapes. More than welcome, with pleasure actually. So tomorrow I will be busy with the gardening tasks and today I have a small break and the person you have called cannot reach for today please try again tomorrow see you bye bye